Yo, what is up guys? This is your Tech Joy C and I'm back again with another video. I'm, I will be doing a comparison between the 12 Pro Max and the 11 Pro Max because most of my friends are asking me which Pro Max will they be purchasing if they have iPhone 10. So stay tuned for you to find out because I will be doing a head-to-head -head comparison between the latest iPhone 12 Pro Max and the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Okay guys, ito na po yung head-to-head -head comparison ko ng 12 Pro Max and 11 Pro Max. On your left is the 12 Pro Max and on your right is the 11 Pro Max. Okay, so let's start with the display. Both phones are powered by Super Retina XDR OLED. So maganda yung quality ng uh, screen nito and it's very crisp and vibrant. Pareho silang powered by XDR OLED though mas I think advantage ang 12 Pro Max kasi nga mas bago siya so mas maganda yung screen niya and then yun so advantage yung Pro, Pro Max dito moving on is the screen size ang screen size ng 12 Pro Max is 2 inch uh, no it's 0.2 inches bigger compared to the 11 Pro Max so, but the same size lang sila no mas same size lang sila, however, manipis yung bezel ng 12 Pro Max. Hindi masyadong, uh, as compared to 11 Pro Max, na medyo mas makapal yung bezel niya. But uh, meron pa rin siyang notch on top of the screen, though it's not as big as the 11 Pro Max. But all in all, hindi mo masyadong makikita yung difference niya kasi it's just 0.2 inches uh, wider. So next up, next up is the... Uh, display colors. So 12 Pro Max has an edge because it has 1 billion colors and 16 million ang 11 Pro Max. So makikita nyo ito ang, ang disparity kapag you have the phone uh, side by side but yeah, yun yung as in paper guys, talagang mas advantage ang 12 Pro Max when it comes to vibrancy, color, accuracy. Of course, it's the latest. no. So mas maganda talaga ang 12 Pro Max. And then, but uh, I'm saying I'm not saying guys na hindi maganda ang 11 Pro Max. Moving on is the display resolution. On 12 Pro Max is 1284 by 2778 and 11 Pro Max is 1242 by 2688. Yun yung pixels per inch niya ng resolution. So it's a bit uh, higher no ang 12 Pro Max, pero hindi siya ganun kalaki yung disparity between the between the two. So I'm Medyo okay lang, no? Medyo konting tweaks ng display resolution. At, and again, probably hindi mo ito notice when you have the phone in hand or side by side. Medyo konti lang yung difference niya. Next up is the aspect ratio. Pareho po silang 19.5 to 9. So pareho lang yung aspect ratio niya. It's almost the same. The size is almost the same. So like what I've said, hindi masyadong... Ano, experimental ang iPhone when it comes to innovation. Next up is the protection. They are both uh, protected by scratch-resistant glass. Ang 11 Pro Max, guys, is powered by uh, Corning Gorilla Glass 6 and ceramic glass ang 12 Pro Max. So, mas matibay ang 12 Pro Max talaga. This is the first iPhone na powered or uh, protected by ceramic. So, pag nahulog siya, it, hindi ganun kalaki ang damage as compared to the glass. And then, next is the operating system or the OS. Pareha silang iOS 14. And as we all know, guys, iPhone supports upgrade after 5 years. So, no worries. Ang iPhone Pro Max, kaya mo pa siyang i-upgrade until, until five, or 4 to 5 years. Though, mas maganda ang 12 Pro Max kasi paglabas na paglabas niya, updated na siya. But it's no slack. Wala pong talo dito. Pareha po silang maganda ang OS because they have the same operating system. So, for me, I call it uh, a tie. Pareho lang sila no. And then, next is the chipset. So, ang 12 Pro Max is A14 Bionic chip and an A, ang A, A13 Bionic chip on the iPhone 11 Pro Max. So, mas mat, maganda yung 
um, chipset ng 12 Pro Max because like what I've said, bagu po siya. But hindi po malaging hindi po ibig sabihin na, na mahina ang A13 or mabagal kasi iba po ang iba talaga ang operating system or ang chipset ng ng Apple as compared to Android. Kahit nga i-compare mo yung A13 sa Snapdragon 865, hindi siya nagpapahuli. And then moving on is the CPU. Para sa lang supported by Hexa Core. So like what I've said, counting tweaks lang ginawa ng Apple into this upgrade. Parang ginawa nilang 11 Pro Max S. <laughs> Funny pero parang ganun, 'di ba? Ganyan sila mag-upgrade. And then uh, let's proceed. Next one is the RAM. So maganda, mas mataas ang 12 Pro Max ng 2 GB compared to 11 Pro Max kasi 6 GB RAM na siya and 4 GB RAM lang yung 11 Pro Max. So it will be able to handle a lot of applications na open sa, sa, sa system mo, no? It can support a lot of applications. Though, hindi naman ibig sabihin nun na mabagal yung 4GB. Pero yung ano lang, sa multitasking, hindi masyadong kaya ng 4GB RAM. And then, moving on guys, is the storage. So, yung storage ng... Uh, pareho silang walang SIM card slot. And then... Yung 12 Pro Max guys, the base model nila is 128GB and then 256 gigabytes, and the maximum is 512 without the option to expand the memory. Walang SIM card slot like what I've said. So, at least better siya compared to 11 Pro Max na ang base model is 64GB which is really not enough. Lalo na it supports 4K video recording. So, talagang mauubos yung memory ng phone mo. And then, up from 64 to 56 to 512, again, walang uh, memory card slot for you to have the option to expand the memory. So, yun lang ang wala sa iPhone na meron sa Android. But what nagustuhan ko sa 12 Pro Max, guys, is uh, ang base uh, memory niya is 128 na hindi na 64. Kasi sobrang, sobrang bilis mapuno po talaga ng 64 GB na memory. Lalo na kapag nag-video ka and then you're recording or you're downloading movies or videos, talagang mapupuno right away yung 64GB mo. Even though meron kang cloud na storage, it will not be enough. And kapag puno na rin yung 5GB na free sa iCloud, kailangan mo rin mag-purchase or magbayad monthly if you wanna upgrade into a higher uh, storage. So yun yung nagustuhan ko sa 12 Pro Max na the base model is now 128GB. I just hope iPhone would uh, consider having a memory card slot kagaya ng ginagawa ng Android. So we have the option to transfer the files from the internal memory to the uh, memory card. No? Kasi like what I've said, mahal po yung phone, sana may madaming options tayo. But then again, ganun talaga ang iPhone eh. Tatak na nila na walang memory card. Eh, siguro for safety reasons. And yeah, that's what iPhone is. And then, um, grateful ako because like what I've said, uh, meron silang in-upgrade nila into uh, 128GB. So, moving on guys is the rear camera. Pareho po silang may triple lens. And ang advantage lang ng ano ng 12 Pro Max meron siyang sensor shift OS, Apple Pro Row and LiDAR sensor. But pareho lang po yung resolution nila. Uh, meron lang siyang 2.5 times optical zoom. Yung selfie camera nila is the same 12 megapixels up to 4K video recording. So it's just the same, no. Meron silang parehong uh, video stabilization. Now they could record up to 4K na video recording. So it's not that much of a difference po yung camera ng 12 Pro Max and 11 Pro Max. And then a good and also yeah, it yung Pro Max guys, yung rear camera video recording niya is uh, up to 120 fps and 60 fps lang yung 11 Pro Max. So much much better yung 12 Pro Max when it comes to video recording. But then again, uh, medyo hindi po ganun kalaki ng difference nila. Moving on is the refresh rate. Um, ang refresh rate ng dalawang phone is 60 Hz, no, as opposed to na inaexpect natin na 120 Hz ng 12 Pro Max, hindi po yun natuloy. So yeah, 
Next is the face ID. I mean the sensors. Pareho silang powered by uh, supported by face ID sensor. Wala silang in fingerprint scanner. And the battery po mas bigger ang 11 Pro Max with 39.69 milliamp hour battery. So disappointing kasi mas malaki po yung battery ng 11 Pro Max. But according sa ay asa nabasa ko maganda daw yung power saving capacity ng 12 Pro Max kahit na mas maliit yung battery nito na less than mga 200 no na milliamp hour. And then yung they both su support fast charging, 18 watts yung nasa box ng 11 Pro Max and 20 watts naman sa 12 Pro Max. Though you can buy a separate uh, power brick that could support uh, 45 watt fast charging. And next is the weight. Mas mabigat po yung 12 Pro Max with uh, 3 grams. So 229 grams ang Pro Max, uh, 12 Pro Max and 226 grams ang 11 Pro Max. And they are both uh, IP68 rate, rated water resistant, no? dust and water resistant. And pareho po lang walang headphone jack. So yeah, iPhone, please ibalik nyo po yung headphone jack. And if walang headphone jack, ilagay nyo po yung dangle for free kasi ipapurchase po namin yun ng separate. And then yung power connector niya is USB to Type-C 2.0 lightning connectors. And it has stereo speakers. So ang ganda po ng speakers ng both phone, pareho sila ng speaker. Maybe better yung 12 Pro Max. And then sa display pixels per inch den density, mas maganda po yung PPI ng 12 Pro Max. And they both support a 5.0 Bluetooth connection. So future proof pareho ang dalawa. And 12 Pro Max has 5 times optical zoom as compared to 2 times a zoom for the 11 Pro Max. And 12 Pro Max also supports 5G network and 11 Pro Max, Pro Max does not. So edge, my edge dito yung 12 Pro Max. And sa colors, ng, mayroon silang parehong 4 colors. Yung 12 Pro Max has silver, graphite, gold, and pacific blue. And 11 Pro Max has silver, graphite, gold, and midnight green. And then, ito ang pinaka-importante guys, is the price. So, yung price ng uh, 12 Pro Max is $1,099 or 53,300 pesos or 336 Kuwait dinar sa base model niya na 128 GB. So, maganda po yung price niya actually kasi as compared to the 11 Pro Max nung lumabas ito, pareha din po nung price na $1,099 with a base model of 64GB. Sulugi ka dun, ba? But however, ngayon, since it's a year older, makakabili na po kayo ng um, 11 Pro Max down to $800 or that's around 38,838 pesos or 244 Kuwait dinar pero 64 gigabytes nang po yun. yun po yung base model niya so so that's $300 uh, cheaper or lesser compared to the 12 Pro Max or 14,500 pesos or 92 Kuwait dinar kung yung 11 Pro Max po yung bibili niyo so so if you're planning to upgrade guys, what iPhone Pro Max will you be buying if you have the iPhone 10 or the previous models than iPhone 10 like 8 and 7? So ano ba yung dapat yung bilhin? Without hesitation guys, I would highly suggest you to get the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Slightly better camera, better processor, bigger display, faster RAM, uh, 2, two RAM uh, bigger than the, pre than the 11 Pro Max. It has better sensors, it has a uh, faster charging capacity, better operating system, and it is 5G enabled. Meron din siyang uh, better chipset, better processor and graphics. It is more premium, uh, it has more premium build quality. Pero guys, I know this is much better than 11 Pro Max, but it is not that much of a significant upgrade, no? Na ka, ka, parang pag mayroon kang 11 Pro Max, gugustuhin mong mag-upgrade into 12 Pro Max. So ako guys, I have 11 Pro Max. I will not buy the 12 Pro Max because what, like what I've said, para lang akong bumili ng exactly the same phone na medyo mas maganda lang. So para kasing ang 12 Pro Max, pag mayroon kang 11 Pro Max, it's just like 11 Pro Max. So in my own opinion guys, if you have the 11 Pro Max, just stick with it. 
and wait for the next release of iPhone kasi I'm pretty sure mas significant yung upgrade nito and mas madaming features na wala ngayon sa 12 Pro Max. So that would be my verdict for today's uh, comparison guys. Sana po nagustuhan nyo and I've helped you decide on what phone to purchase. And sa hindi pa po nakaka-subscribe sa channel ko, don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell. Again, this is your tech, Joycey, and I'll see you again in the next one. You do have a great day. Goodbye!